What's going on and welcome back to Bourbon of the Week. My name is Chris. I'm going to be your host for today and this is the top five whiskeys from Pennsylvania. I've been nominated by Phil and Julie to be the state representative for Pennsylvania. They are putting together an entire playlist on their channel of as many states as they can get covered from Whiskey YouTube. If you know a state that's not covered, check out that playlist and you know a Whiskey YouTuber from that particular state and you want them to cover the top five whiskeys in that state, make sure you reach out to Phil and Julie on that video and let them know who you think should be the representative. I'm going to do Pennsylvania today, but everybody knows before we get started, time for the traditional sip. Time for the traditional sip. I got to stop drinking before these videos. Cheers, y'all. Phoenixville. So the first bottle that I want to get to comes out of Huntington Valley, Pennsylvania. And as you can see, this is a PA bourbon squad pick. There are a lot of distilleries popping up here in Pennsylvania all the time. There's plenty that have been here for a long time, which means I can't drink every single whiskey that came out of Pennsylvania. PA Bourbon Squad has almost 9,000 members on it. I'm a moderator for the group. If you're not already on the Facebook group, make sure you join. The reason that I use them so often is because, again, I can't drink all of these whiskeys. So I reached out to the members on PA Bourbon Squad. I said, yo, what are your favorite whiskeys in Pennsylvania? We narrowed it down to a top five, four of which I've already tried, one of which I have not, which I'll bring up when I get to it but I did try it to make sure it deserved to be on the list. But Mermaid Spirits is absolutely one that deserves to be on here. Let's get into the details on it now. So this bottle is coming in at 102.9 proof. Full disclosure, it is sourced from MGP. They do make their own rum and vodka here at Mermaid Spirits. They also have a port wine finished bottle as well. This is absolutely fantastic though. You know you're getting good juice with MGP. And then David Johnston, the gentleman who owns this company, actually has a background in food biochemistry. So he knows everything about fermentation, distillation, blending, and everything that goes along with that. So if you have a chance to get out to Huntington Valley, Pennsylvania, make sure you stop by Mermaid Spirits and grab this bottle. And again, check us out on Facebook, PA Bourbon Squad. Let's get to bottle number two. Bottle number two is a little bit closer to home for me. This comes out of Phoenixville, Pennsylvania. This is Bluebird Distilling. And this one bottle, this particular bottle from them is absolutely fantastic. It's what I'm sipping on right now. And this is their 100% rye. And when I say 100% rye, I mean 100% rye. Instead of using malted barley to convert the starch to sugar, they use malted rye. So this is a true 100% rye. And I will be the first person to tell you that I haven't had a 100% rye that I've liked until I've had this bottle right here. This bottle is going to offer you cherry notes. It's going to give you that brown sugar, that caramel, that vanilla. The rye is going to still bring out some of those fruity notes with that malted rye, but you're still going to get that rye spice and it's absolutely fantastic. And whether you know this or not, Pennsylvania is actually the home, the history to rye whiskey. If you want to go to Kentucky and get your bourbons, that's fine. But when it comes to rye, you got to hit up Pennsylvania. I can promise you that. The best part about Bluebird is they have something for everybody. If you're not a rye fan, they have plenty of different whiskeys, American Lights, weeded whiskeys, they have bourbons, double barrel bourbons, all kinds of stuff. Also, Phoenixville has an amazing nightlife now. They've built up Bridge Street so much, plenty of bars, plenty of restaurants, plenty of shops. So make sure you check out Phoenixville, Pennsylvania if you're ever in the area. Stop by Bluebird and pick up this rye right here. You're going to love it. As I mentioned, there was one whiskey on this list that I did not have myself, and that is Liberty Pole. This is the peated bourbon whiskey, and I will tell you, this ended up on Fred Minnick's top 100 whiskeys of either 2020 or 2021, I forget. But when I saw it on there, and a bunch of people on PA Bourbon Squad told me that Liberty Pole is the place to be, I knew I had to pick up a bottle and try it myself, and I can tell you right now, this does not disappoint. Coming out of Washington, PA at $49.99. This bottle particularly is 30 months old. They're all at least two years old. You're going to get fruitiness on this. You're going to get apricot. You're going to get marshmallow. That rye is still in there. A little bit of that malt comes through on some nuttiness, and it is absolutely fantastic. It doesn't overwhelm you with the peatiness. Like, I don't like peatiness, so I still love this bottle. And I didn't know picking this bottle up if it was going to make the cut. But after trying only one glass of it, it definitely deserves to be in our top five. So if you ever have a chance to get out to Washington, PA, make sure you check out Liberty Pole and try this bottle out. You don't even have to do the peated. They have a couple of other offerings as well. So try those out if you don't like peated bourbons. But let's get to bottle number four. Cheers, y'all. Bottle number four that we have on our list is called Resurgent Straight Bourbon. This is the custom cask. 100 proof this one whiskey wine and spirits gold in 2019 and double gold in 2021 it's absolutely fantastic and again full disclosure this is an mgp product but it does say bottled by brandywine branch distilleries distilled in indiana so again being an MGP product, you know you're going to get some good juice, but you're definitely going to get something different coming out of the aging process and bottling process here in Pennsylvania instead of Indiana. 
This is from Elverson PA. They also have a Young American Whiskey and a Straight Rye as well. Resurgent is one of those that was brought up multiple times as well on the PA Bourbon Squad group as a great pickup here in Pennsylvania. For $44.99, you're not going to break the bank. Try this one out if you're ever in Elverson, Pennsylvania. Let's get to our last bottle, which by no means are these in any type of order. It's not one through five, but I promise you, you probably know the last bottle if you know any of these bottles that I have so far. Let's get it. And again, if you're going to come to Pennsylvania, you're going to want to pick up rye whiskey over anything else because this is the home of rye whiskey. And that's why we have one of the most famous bottles out of Pennsylvania. If you don't count Michter's, and we almost counted Michter's, Dad's Hat Pennsylvania Rye Whiskey. This particular bottle is the 90 proof, although they do have a 95 and a 100 proof as well. As you can see, this bottle is unopened because I had to pick up a second bottle. I finished my last bottle before we got to doing this video beautiful pop right there. So let's pour some of this up and talk a little bit more about Dad's Hat. So the one thing that I do love about Dad's Hat is they are true farm to glass. They actually take the local grains, make their mash bill, and send the spent mash back to the local farmers to feed livestock with. Love that. They have a vermouth finish. They have this. They have the 95 proof, the 100 proof that we already mentioned. And they also have a port wine finish as well. This bottle is fantastic. It's not going to give you quite as much smokiness as something like a scotch, but it's also a Pennsylvania rye, so it's not going to give you as much sweetness as you're going to get off a traditional bourbon. I actually recently did a series on TikTok trying to find the best old-fashioned recipe on bourbon TikTok, and a lot of people from Pennsylvania who were giving me their recipes to try recommended Dad's Hat Pennsylvania rye, whether it be the 90, the 95, or 100 proof, as the whiskey that I should put in my old-fashioned. So you can enjoy this bottle straight up. You can put it on the rocks. You can enjoy it in a cocktail. It is very versatile. So next time you're in Pennsylvania, if you want to stop by Dad's Hat, grab one of these. If you want to stop by Fine Wine and Good Spirits, they have all the bottles that we had in our collection today. And I promise you, you're going to want to pick up a rye because Kentucky can keep the bourbon. Pennsylvania's got the rye history. Cheers, y'all. Again, thank you, Phil and Julie, for nominating me as the representative for Pennsylvania. If you have somebody that you want to represent your state that isn't already covered, make sure you reach out to Phil and Julie so they can get them involved. But that's where we're going to leave you for today. Make sure you check me out on Instagram at Bourbon of the Week. Check out the Patreon link in the video description below if you want to help support the channel financially. And if you want to come chat with us 24-7, check out the Discord link in the video description below as well. We chat about bourbon, whiskey, and a lot more 24-7. Please don't drink and drive. Click that like, click that subscribe. Stay healthy, stay happy. Stay drinking. Cheers, y'all.